Now we're ready to actually evaluate the pulmonary artery and trace it out so we can actually look for filling defects that are suspicious for pulmonary emboli. Now, I think it's very useful, especially early on, to have a very systematic approach to how you do this. So it's probably worth just starting with the right ventricle and then going right out to the main uh, pulmonary artery, the trunk, and, and making sure that you just start at the beginning and that you have a very systematic approach of actually tracing the vessels. So the main will branch um, into the right and left main pulmonary arteries. Um, and then from there, I think it's important to just have a general appreciation where the, the caliber of arteries changes from, let's say the right pulmonary artery to a low bar artery, then we'll have segmental branches and then subsegmental branches. These follow the path of the airway, um, which has a very similar anatomy. However, I think it's important to also realize that being incredibly precise about where the pulmonary embolus is um, has maybe limited utility where it's just perhaps a little bit more important to kind of big picture explain kind of the caliber of vessel you're in and generally where you are. Um, as well as some other things that we'll talk about in other videos. And, and the reason I bring that up is because the anatomy can be a little bit different um, patient to patient. So not everyone may have the same kind of clear sense of where the low bar artery is or is this, you know, um, is it following the same exact path that we would expect. But regardless, what you should do is be very systematic about tracing things out and just going proximal to distal, then tracing backwards um, and making sure that you don't miss any, um, any pulmonary emboli that you can detect on your study. So like we said, we start with the trunk um, and then you can just pick, you can go down the right side, um, make sure that you're aware that some of these vessels may branch earlier on. Um, And uh, what we can do is we can triangulate like we've discussed before uh, right here. And we can see that we have some branching vessels that are coming off the right main pulmonary artery. And this is where, you know, it may not be entirely clear, you know, technically is this low bar um, or segmental, probably more segmental in this patient who has other branches that are going up to the right upper lobe. But it's most important to just appreciate that these are um, these are these are branches that you should trace out as far as you can, um, and then trace them back, and then go very systematically about going to the other other uh, segmental branches that go up to the right upper lobe, and just looking for those filling defects. Um, and then you can do the same thing as you kind of go through. Um, here it's probably after all these branches come probably would call this the interlobar artery uh, on the right and then you see that there are branches that are going off to the right middle lobe here and we can kind of co-localize and see that in this plane they're over here so big picture is that you're going to be tracing the vessels out as best as you can um, going to the right upper lobe right middle lobe and then here you know going down to the right lower lobe um, and we can kind of co-localize and see it in another plane here. Um, and then you'll have, you know, your subsegmental branches that are coming off the segmental branches, and you'll try to trace those out as far as you can. And then you'll do the same thing on the left, where you have, um, you know, branches that are coming off um, to the left upper lobe, maybe here. And you can see those on this plane as well. Um, and then kind of after those branches come off, this is probably going to be called the, the interlobar uh, left pulmonary artery, which is going to go to the left lower lobe. And you can kind of follow that here as well, too. So it is important to have a general sense of kind of, you know, main pulmonary artery, low bar going to a lobe, segmental, then subsegmental branches. Um, but also it's important to realize that the anatomy may be a little variant. Um, and it may not always kind of go in the same way that you expect. But regardless, your tracing of these arteries should be fairly systematic where you're looking for the low bar and segmental arteries of each particular lobe. Um, and then also kind of tracing out to the subsegmental areas. 
Um, and then, you know, it, it will take some time in the beginning, but you you will get used to looking for, you know, lobar or segmental arteries that come off each side of the pulmonary arterial tree, and you won't miss them. And if you don't do this approach, I think the danger is that you may not notice, for example, that these um, branches that go to the right upper lobe here come off so quickly. And you may just kind of be like, oh, you know, this is all the right main pulmonary artery. And then you just look pretty much at the right middle lobe and right uh, lower lobe arteries and don't really scan up to see everything that's going up to the right upper lobe. And you can do the same thing on the left. So moral of the story is have a very systematic approach, get comfortable tracing the vessels and look for branch vessels that are going to each lobe of the artery because there should be uh, pulmonary art arteries that go to each lobe.